everyone. Welcome back to this week's episode of Real Talk with the Razorbacks. I'm your host, Felicia Hano, and I'm so excited to have Maddie on the show today. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. So this past weekend, we competed at the SEC Championships, where we competed in the night session for the first time ever, which was super exciting for the team. We had an okay meet, not what our normal is, but overall I think we're going to carry this into regionals and learn about our mistakes and then just carry on from there. Yeah, absolutely. And Maddie, this was actually your first SEC Championships yes. ever. So how was the experience? How was it being on a big stage like that? It was a dream come true. I mean, I always dreamed about going to the SEC Championships, so it was super fun and I loved being with my team and it was overall a great experience. Yeah, it was really electric in there. And although it wasn't our most normal meet, we still had a lot of really awesome highlights. So let's get into that in the meet recap. So we started the meet off on balance beam where Key led us off so fantastically. And she was a rock solid competitor up there and she scored a 9.825. She's a great lead off. I'm so proud of her and all the hard work she's given us. Yeah, definitely. And so she also had an amazing routine. Bringing it back, she scored a 9.85. Yeah, beautiful routine. Our second event was the floor exercise where both you and Abby scored 9.85s. How was it doing floor out there on a podium with your whole team cheering you on? It was so fun just going out there, having fun, and trusting my training and my cues. And I just went out there and had an amazing time. So, Soph also had a beautiful, beautiful routine. She is just our rock. She scored a 9.95. And Bailey also, with her sky high double layout, she scored a 9.9. .9. Mm -hmm. We have an amazing floor lineup and we can always count on the back end of the lineup to finish us up strong. Our third event was the vault and Abby, she had a beautiful Yurchenko full where she stuck it. It was mm -hmm. so exciting to see her do that. Yeah, so proud of her. She's been working so hard in the gym to get those sticks. So all of her hard work has paid off. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And then Kennedy closed off the rotation with a huge one and a half scoring a 9.875. She just amazes me every <laughs> single day. I want to be her. I want her vault. So she is amazing. She is. Mm -hmm. And shout out to Jordan, even though she had a small shoulder injury, she came back super fast and just did her normal and did amazing. So our last event was the uneven bars where both Schaefer and Jensen had beautiful routines, so strong and confident, and they both scored 95s. Yeah, and shout out to Soph for being put into bar lineup last minute. She did so well being a lead off and I'm so proud of her. Yeah, she did really, really well, thrown in at the last second. And like I said before, she's kind of like that rock that mm -hmm. we can always rely on. Yeah, definitely. So Maddie, you are a staple in the floor lineup. How does that feel to be able to go out, compete every single weekend on floor? Feels amazing. I've been working so hard this whole season and I'm so proud of myself and all the hard work I've put in is paying off and couldn't be more rewarding. Yeah, definitely. And you also scored a career high 9.9 .9 a few meets back. When you saw that score flash, how did you feel? I just was filled with joy and love and just so much passion for the sport of gymnastics and like I was so grateful to be on this team. So Maddie, you just look so confident this year out on the floor and everything that you do. How has your mindset kind of shifted and how has your perspective changed? For me, I focused on my mentality and Becoming mentally tough, I think it's so important, not physically, but mentally to be on and like strong in your mind in the sport. And I just began to, to tell myself to believe in myself, have confidence in myself. And that's been helping me a lot. And that's why I've been so consistent because I finally just believed in myself. Maddie, you used to do high school gymnastics. Explain to everyone what that is and also how it kind of differs from JO gymnastics. So high school gymnastics, I did it with my high school and I did a co-op with my other um, high school. And basically it's all about the team instead of about yourself. Whereas in like JO, it's focusing on yourself and it's kind of serious. But in high school meets, it's like having fun and all about your team and winning as a team so that helped me like smoothen my transition into college gymnastics because college gymnastics is all about team 
your team and all that. Yeah, that's definitely that's really exciting mm -hmm. um, that you got that experience in college before you even came yeah. to college. Yeah. So did you also do JO gymnastics? Yes, I did. So one weekend I would do high school gymnastics, and then another weekend I would go to a JO meet. Okay, Maddie, last question. If the fans could know one thing about you, what would you want them to know? That I want to be a veterinarian. <gasps> That's so fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's your favorite animal? Okay, definitely a horse. I've loved horses ever since I was little, so it's definitely my favorite animal. Okay, so now it's time for fan questions. So this first person asks, what is your favorite memory with the Hogs? Um, definitely competing in my first collegiate meet at the University of Florida. And I competed vault first. And like the end of my routine, I just felt so grateful to be here. And I just had so much love for my team. And I was overall like just really proud of myself. So the second question asks, who is your role model on the team? And congrats for an incredible regular season. Um, my role model would be Sarah Schaefer. She's so driven and she's the hardest worker that I've ever met. And I just love the way she carries herself and she's so caring and kind and she's definitely a leader. Okay, so this last question comes from one of your roommates, Claire, and she asks, what has been your favorite memory with your roommates over the past year? And disclaimer, her roommates are Claire and Kiara, who are also on the team. Yeah, so one time we were going to dinner or something, and Claire farted really bad, and I've never smelled anything worse than that. And we just nonstop were laughing, dying laughing, so that was definitely my favorite memory of us. Well, that's all I got for you, Maddie. Thanks so much for coming on the show and talking with me today. Thank you so much for having me. And we're on bye week right now, but next week we'll be in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, competing at the regional championship. Um, it will take place April 2nd at 1 p.m. on Friday. All right, thanks so much, Maddie, again for being on the show, and we'll see you next time on Real Talk. Thank you.